Over the past two days, we've talked about the trauma first responders see. Seeing multiple tragedies can lead to PTSD or other mental health problems. Well, tonight we talked with a retired EMS worker who reached out to us, Tatiana Cash, tonight on this story. Tatiana, why did he come forward after our stories? Well, Donald says the trauma never fades, and he was encouraged by the other first responders who shared their stories. And so a man who helps people like Donald today says that the examples of why first responders need to heal and have ways of coping is what they see every day. I'm ready to deal with this. I'm ready to face it head on. Donald Trotman Jr.'s family ambulance company, AIDS Ambulance, ran from 1956 to 1978, and he joined in 1974 but couldn't handle the emotional toll and retired in 77. Troutman says he buried the trauma of those years and rarely spoke about what he saw until recently. I've talked to my counselor and uh, they're all for this. They think this is a great thing that I'm trying to do. Troutman is working to share his family's legacy as a way to heal from his 46-year-old trauma. Joshua Archer says there's no time limit on when to heal from trauma. As an employee assistance program coordinator for Toledo's EMS and firefighters mental health, Archer says quicker response to mental trauma results in less long-term stress. Let's say like 72 hours to, to a week or so. You have time to help a person organize how they are going to store this memory. What happens is every time you're exposed to another horrible horrific thing, that whole filing cabinet gets dumped out. Trauman says his grandfather rarely spoke about the job, but he knows he saw horrific scenes. We were the only ambulance company that worked North Toledo. We were the first ambulance company that responded to the tornado back in the 60s. You know, my grandfather responded to the tanker fire that exploded on the trail. Archer was at the Magnolia Street Fire where firefighters Stephen Machinsky and James Dickman were killed his first year on the job. And the trauma almost caused him to quit. But instead, he found healthy ways to cope with the job he loves and has been with the department now for 10 years. The stereotype is, you know, a hero doesn't reach out for help. They're the ones saving people. If you want to be able to do this position, you want to continue to help people, you got to take care of yourself. And speaking more with Archer, he says there are two ways to cope when it comes to trauma. So the best one is, of course, one is having an activity, you know, that helps de-stress and center you, such as working out, journaling, going to a therapist, it's whatever works for you. And then the second is having a list of at least three people who know you, what your job is, and can be available day or night so you can call after a traumatic incident or trigger. So you definitely need that assistance. Live in studio, Tatiana Cash, WTOL 11.